Tailwind is one of those hot topics for developers. Whether you're for it or against it, it doesn't really matter. But let me know in the comments which side you're on. But personally, I love Tailwind CSS. I use it for almost all of my demos. I use it for courses. I use it for personal websites, etc. And I just found this awesome feature that I would call new that's not actually new, but inside of Tailwind that actually makes it a much easier thing to use for people that have gripes about some of the issues with Tailwind. So I just came across this post from my friend uh, Chris Sev on Twitter. I'll, I'll include a link to this post in the description. But he showed the idea of being able to do basically custom CSS right inside of Tailwind. Now, I kind of saw this and I was blown away and he was blown away. And I asked him, I was like, hey, do you know if this is a new feature in Tailwind? And he found the documentation for when this was added. And this was added back uh, almost exactly a year ago from today. And so what this means is inside of your classes, you can write whatever custom CSS you want to. And let's kind of walk through why this would be useful. So there's lots of different ways that you can customize Tailwind. You can customize your theme, like you can override the existing colors. You can create additional colors. You can extend the spacing, for example. You can extend or customize or override almost any property or, or maybe any property in Tailwind using your uh, config file, the Tailwind config file. So this works really great. You can also, now this is a relatively new feature, use arbitrary values inside of your Tailwind style. So if you wanna say, instead of top dash four, for example, which gives you a top um, spacing of however much, like whatever four is, it's like arbitrary. So it's one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 16, 24, whatever the numbers are. Instead of only being limited to that, you can now do custom or arbitrary properties inside of here. So you can do top dash and then inside of brackets, you can tell what number specifically you want. Now, this has been really useful for, for me as I absolutely position items using Tailwind. So if I want to have like a little kind of design feature, like a couple of boxes or something in the background of a section on a site, uh, actually a good example of that would be on my astrocourse.dev. If you're curious about learning Astro and using Tailwind, so you can see these boxes over here. These are absolutely positioned. And to get these to line up exactly what I want, I use custom uh, custom properties. So uh, custom top right, left right, or <laughs> top right, left right uh, margins, top right, left bottom. So anyway, those are super helpful to be able to customize when you need to, to position things appropriately, use the random uh, or colors that you need, font sizes, whatever, that's cool. You can also get into theming. I've never actually done any of this, but that's cool. I've never done CSS variables either. That's super cool. I didn't know that. But then you get down to the arbitrary properties. And this is where like in the past, if you needed to add some sort of additional CSS that maybe Tailwind doesn't cover, for example, uh, if we go back to the post from Chris Sev, so on side of, or on side of here, inside of here, what he would do if he wanted to do some custom property that wasn't like covered by Tailwind, he would do inline style. So do style equals and then just like raw CSS dumped into uh, the uh, the quotes here. But now with this feature, which has been around for a year and I just didn't know about it, you can just uh, add that directly inside of here using the bracket. So not only do we have the ability to customize properties with arbitrary, um, arbitrary, what do you call that? How do they differentiate this? Arbitrary values, you also now get to use arbitrary properties, which means you can dump those right inside of here using the same syntax that uh, that you're used to. This is super, super cool. For me, Tailwind is a no brainer for how easy it is for me to get started creating stuff and to stay within like guidelines of kind of a des design system. And this feature, I think, just adds that little bit of nicety on top of like maybe in the past I would have done some inline styles. I've done that a couple times or maybe I define a class that I then go and style inside of like regular CSS. And I don't, I don't love having to mix those. So having this right in there with arbitrary, uh, arbitrary properties, super, super cool. So let me know, does that change? Like if you're negative on Tailwind, does that change your opinion at all? Like probably not, but it is one of those nice features, especially if you're on the fence or if you're already interested in Tailwind, I think it makes a difference. But anyway, let me know if you think what you think about the feature. And if you knew about this, cause this has been around for almost exactly a year and I had no idea. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in more Tailwind and Next.js, React, JavaScript, across the board. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to check out more videos. Appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time.